My name is Mark Brantley. I am the Premier of Nevis and Leader of the Opposition in the Parliament of St. Kitts and Nevis. I am delighted to make this short statement in solidarity with my country's Prime Minister, the Honourable Dr. Terence Drew, and his delegation now attending the Congress of the Parties 28 in Dubai. I start by commending the United Arab Emirates on its leadership of COP28 and its role in achieving the landmark decision to create a loss and damage fund to help the most vulnerable countries recover from climate disasters. I commend leaders across the world, but especially Caribbean leaders, for their tireless advocacy in this regard. Climate change is no longer a matter for academic lectures and cozy fireside chats. It has become the lived reality of billions of people across the world. In St. Kitts and Nevis and across the Caribbean archipelago, we find ourselves at ground zero, fighting a war we did not start and a war to which we did not contribute. We now have more drought, warmer oceans, more sagassum seaweed affecting our coasts, and more violent hurricanes. Climate change represents an existential threat to our Caribbean civilization. In Nevis, we have discovered large deposits of geothermal energy, far in excess of the needs of St. Kitts and Nevis. The potential to harness this renewable energy resource for the benefit of St. Kitts and Nevis, but also for export to neighboring islands and for the development of new industries and a new economy based on renewable energy is truly revolutionary. The realization of geothermal energy promises to make St. Kitts and Nevis the first nation in the world to wean itself entirely off fossil fuels for the generation of electricity. We shall in the near future be able to declare to the world that we are truly the greenest place on planet Earth. We are reimagining our small island state, fueled by renewable energy, to become a global example of a sustainable island state. Geothermal energy allows us cheaper, cleaner energy, which leads to energy security for our country. Cheap, clean energy allows us to achieve greater desalination efforts to bring more portable water to our people. More water to our people means our farmers can grow more food. Cheap, clean energy means more industries, new jobs, and a new economy. Geothermal energy, therefore, represents for St. Kitts and Nevis and our subregion energy security, water security, food security, and economic security. But none of this promise can be realized without investment and the provision of capital to small island states like us to develop these renewable energy resources. We are, in St. Kitts and Nevis, on the cusp of a revolution to transform lives in our region and to help save our shared planet Earth. We ask you, here gathered, to help us achieve that revolution by seeing the pursuit of renewable energy as a global public good and providing the critical financing to harness it. I wish your deliberations at COP28 every success, as failure to find solutions is simply no longer an option. Thank you and God bless you.